Welcome to the Savvy Property Investors Podcast, a weekly show that delivers the best hard-hitting property industry news, business advice, and talks that will get you ascending in the real estate industry. Now, here's your host, the amazing award-winning property and business coach, best-selling author, and serial entrepreneur, Miss Sapphire Gray. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another episode of the Savvy Property Investors Show. This is the show for newbie and seasoned property investors, coaches, consultants, and trainers who want to become savvy investors and build a legacy for you and your loved ones, to grow your investment knowledge and their business, also to make a difference to the world. My name is Sophia Gray, and I'm your host. Every week, I bring you different episodes and something where I do different things with different guests to show you what is out there. Some is business and some is property investment. I know that you enjoy watching and listening to our show. So that's why I bring you different episodes each week. I'm an expert in what I do. And sometimes we interview clients and do case studies, different stories, so you can learn from these experts in the field and our clients, the results they are getting. Other times we have just incredible guests like we have today. Today we're going to be talking about becoming your own therapist while using a balanced procedure. But before I introduce our guests, I want to remind you about a couple of things. If you are new to our podcast, make sure that you subscribe so you don't miss out on other episodes and then having to download it yet again. That is also, I want to introduce you to the Property Investors Toolkit. Make sure you go and get that toolkit now. You know that the following in the footsteps of someone that has already created wealth through property is the way to learn. And this is how you can do it for yourself without feeling struggle struggles or stress with what strategy you should decide. You can go ahead and purchase it now and it will help you formulate what strategy in property you would like to do. Go over to our website, www savvywomen.co.uk where you can find this fantastic deal for 37 pounds so go ahead now and check out the link don't forget to scroll down you can see the link in our youtube um show notes don't forget to scroll down and sub um, subscribe to our youtube channel as well and any social media links you'll also find the link for this product in there as well <clears throat> it's now time to introduce our guest liz Arman. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Brilliant. Nice Liz Armand is the mindset shifter, is an inspirational and multi-award winning spiritual teacher, business coach, mentor, author, holistic therapist. Liz works with midwife, midlife, sorry, <laughs> professionals who are feeling stuck and frustrated and unfilled um, to help them feel much happier empowering and confident, as well as feeling more balanced with clarity about their life purpose. Often her clients are usually caring for the elderly parents, and this is a key aspect of creating them stress due to unhealed childhood trauma. Mental health, menopause and bereavement are her specialisms. Liz uses multiple advanced energy and mindset techniques to help her clients shift negative emotional baggage that they are carrying so that they can feel more energized and feel lighter and brighter. She is also a trainer of multiple therapists, including Reiki, NLP and the balance procedure. She is passionate about challenging and changing perceptions about mental health to assist individuals to be well again and to understand the link between spirituality and mental health. I am your host, Sophia Gray. So let's get started. Liz, again, thank you for joining us. And what a fantastic bio. Love it. <laughs> well, I've done lots of things and it's very hard to, to condense it into a small thing when you've done so much. But then I'm, that's part of my issue. Also, sometimes I'm too detailed about things. So <laughs> I want to share with our audience straight away that we're going to do a live demo using yeah. myself as that demo. So yeah, that's going to show later on. So, <laughs> Get excited about that. 
And Liz will be showing us how she uses this um, balancing technique um, for her clients, and she'll be demonstrating on myself. So let's just dive into the first question here, Liz. Why are you called a mindset shifter? So why am I called a mindset shifter? Well, basically because a lot of people don't realize that their mindset is something that's so important to be healthy and well, basically. And in my book, Are You Worth It?, which I read about six years ago now, I broke down what mindset was actually all about, which is about your mental health, it's about intuition, about uh, nurturing yourself, your, your mind. Everything comes to your mind, but we don't look after it at the end of the yeah. day. It's also about decisions that we make. It's also about our senses, our emotions, and our, our thoughts, and all that makes up your mindset. Yeah. So often the people that I'm working with, they're actually stuck. They don't even realize that their thoughts are creating them problems. They don't realize their emotions are negative and that's causing them you know, the angst that they're getting, the stress that they're getting. And I will support them in, in teach them techniques to actually learn to shift that. They shift their mindset from something negative to something positive. Because as you uh, maintain a positive attitude and persevere and, and move yourself forward, You'll find that good things happen. That's you know, how the law of attraction works, which is one of the universal laws of the, of the universe. Music. And because we've gone through the last couple of years and feeling stress, I don't know yeah. who hasn't felt stress. Yeah. I mean, this technique is really good to just get a balance back and yeah. finding yourself again. Because I think a lot of um, mental health issues has also increased and impacted Absolutely. because of the last couple of years as well. So yeah, it, this yeah. technique is really good for someone who's yeah. going through that and experiencing that right now. Yeah. Excellent. So, yeah. The mental health issues have absolutely been ramped up. They're already you know, increasing because of the increased use of technology as well. And we, we do a lot by uh, message and email where yeah. we're actually only 7% of communication goes that way. So there's a lot of uh, misinterpretation going yeah. on as well. Excellent. So why would a business owner want to go inwards to become their own therapist then okay so the reason i say they should go inwards is actually they've everybody's on a journey everybody has had uh, various different things that have happened to them and if they don't deal with the trauma that they have within them that has happened that will then start playing out in what they're trying to achieve within their business so for example they may may start procrastinating any sign of procrastination in what you're doing they say oh i just oh, i'll just do the washing up today rather than them um, you know, write an email to somebody or, or send you an invoice or whatever it is. And there's just something, you know, stopping you from doing that. But you're not quite sure what, what that is. Mm -hmm. That is actually stuck emotion with, within you. It's linked to your to your thoughts and that will stop you. But yeah. ultimately, the end game is actually you're not really serving yourself by doing that. You beat yourself up, you feel guilty and then you feel worse. And then you've got all other things which are going on, whether that's your, care, your parents you're caring for or you're going through the menopause or you're, somebody's died and then you're feeling even worse through the, through the process yeah. as, as well. There's lots of different things that we're managing. We're spinning all these plates at, at one time. Yes. So by, be, you know, the, by becoming your own therapist, you're working out, well, what is it that's actually not making me happy? Rather than you know the previous model of what we're, you know, We've been brought up with through counselling and uh, psychotherapy is very much you know look outside of you what somebody else is doing to you to resolve that to then go inward. Well, I'm saying actually no, just go inward. You know? yes. And when we look at the balance procedure, the balance procedure is, an, is a non-verbal trauma release tool basically. So you don't have to talk about what's got gone on. The, yeah. the aim is actually that you're you're actually we're creating our own reality. So if we're creating our own reality, if something's not going right, let's change it. Let's Absolutely. make it clear. To, to change and I always them. say to clients as well, always look inwards and outwards of yourself. And so to use that word is a really powerful word for me because yeah. looking inwards to self is acknowledging that something is happening and yeah. being able to deal with it. So that's that's absolutely brilliant. Absolutely. Oh. You're, you're, taking, you're taking responsibility and you're taking control, your own control, not controlling things, but there's that anxiety, but you control, you're having more control over what's going on, going, this is not working, what can I change? And some things are just subconscious. You don't necessarily realise that you're doing something. Somebody said to me earlier on a, a post I'd written saying, do we create our own stress? And they went, I think you're wrong about that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I was like, going, well, we agree to disagree because actually the science is actually proving what I've been saying for years. Yeah. So, you know, just just have that sort of awareness really about it. They don't need to agree with me. I mean, to help, you know, my yeah. aim is to make sure they feel better. Yeah. Uh, not worse and angry with the fact of what I've said. <laughs> And I think we do create our own stress because everything is by choice. Yeah, it is. Uh, it is life is a choice. You you choose to either do something or not to do something. So when 
if something feels like it's very stressful to you, you can say, you know what, I choose not to be involved in that or, or around it. And I always say that even with people can stress you out. And I call them yeah. branches that easily cut. <laughs> you can get yeah. rid of your it's stress. Very, it's very much about our, our reaction in, right. in any situation, whether that's in our business life or our personal life, our reaction to how somebody's treating us or valuing us or... You know it can link to our passion that makes us angry it can Absolutely. be all sorts sorts of different things but actually we do even if we don't know know what that emotion is we know that we are actually in control of ourselves and what we're doing True. so Absolutely. it's about um recognizing that but it's about, about becoming more awakened to yourself really yeah so please explain to our uh, listeners and, and viewers what is the balance procedure okay so it's probably best that I, that I sort of show you, you know, that's the balance procedure mm -hmm. when we talk about it Okay. It's a okay. set of cards and you get a book as, as part of it. And there is a, an energy alignment that goes to it, which I'm going to do one te you know, mm -hmm. taster with, it, with you today. But there's nine cards in the set of set of cards. And there is a, a follow on of training and you can become a practitioner of it as well and work on other people. Yeah. The cool part of it is you don't have to just work on yourself. You can also work on your pets, your children, elderly parents, Anybody else who really annoys you around you, yeah. is the reaction is that anything that you're seeing outside of you is actually part of you. Yeah. So if you sort you out, that'll sort them out and vice versa. So and you, so you'll both feel better um, okay. as part of it. So the balance procedure is based off, um, it, it comes brings together lots of different uh, therapies um, like Reiki, emotional freedom technique, um, counselling, Lots of different aspects, kinesiology, lots of different aspects are being put within within it. On mm -hmm. the cards, they're looking at nine different areas. So we've got the art of independence, the art of love, the art of clarity, the art of co-creation, the art of infinite unity, the art of transformation, the art of knowing, the art of visualization, and the art of communication. And on each card, they have, let me show you one card there. Mm -hmm. They have symbols on them, which are taken from sacred geometry and the colors. So your subconscious is actually working when it sees that symbol, okay? Yeah. yeah. So often somebody who's not feeling confident will have a problem with this card. They won't feel powerful themselves. They're not feeling empowered. They mm -hmm. don't feel successful in what they're doing because they're comparing themselves to everybody else rather than seeing how brilliant they are them themselves. Okay. When I'm working with people, I tend to say to people, don't even look at the, the words, just look at the image. Yeah. Because um, I work with a lot of people who overthink things, and they're and they're also very intelligent. They go, "Yes, I'm in balance," and they go, "I'm not in balance." When they see what it's <laughs> talking about. <laughs> All right, do you want to do the demonstration then? Should okay, we do that? Let's do it. So, and, and, audience, I'm sorry for those who are listening. We're doing a demonstration. You can head over to our YouTube to watch it, so that you can see exactly what we're doing here as well. And if my head gets cut off, it's because I'm standing up now in front of the camera. <laughs> so excuse my head being cut off. So what do you want okay, me to do? So you're going to stand to your side so we can see your, your sway. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have the nine cards. I'm just going to pick one card for you okay. to, to do. So I'm just showing that one. Let's see about. Okay. Let's let's do this. Let's do this one with you. And let's do this. No, let's do that one. So. Okay, so all I'm going to do is, is actually show you a symbol. Now, I don't know whether you are in balance or you're not in balance, okay? okay yep. so your body will either go, we want your body to, energy should always be going forwards, okay? okay. Like walking forwards in life. Mm -hmm. If you go backwards, that's you holding yourself back. If mm -hmm. you go to the left, that is about your head's in anxiety. If you go to the right, it's it's uh, stuck in the past. Okay. Um, and if you circle in any way, that means you're circling in life. But or you might not move at all, and that means you're stuck. So, right. like I say, I don't know, um, viewers, you know, what's going to happen with um, okay. no practice this because I never know when I do this what, what's going to happen. <laughs> so, I just want you, Sapphire, I just want you to look at that image now. Okay. okay? And I'm going to surrogate for you. So, that means I'm using it on myself instead. Okay. And I just want you to put one hand on your heart. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And now breathe in through your nose, and out through your mouth, and say the word balance. Balance. So what do you think is happening with your body? I feel slightly going forward. 
You see, you don't look like you're going forward. You look actually oh, like you're going backwards. But the viewers might might disagree with us afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not convinced that that is in balance. It's interesting because often we think we are uh-huh. in balance with something and we're not. And that's why, I, although you can do the DIY approach we buy the book of the yeah. cards, I do recommend people have a, a full alignment because often they, they convince themselves, oh, I'm not convinced that you're going forwards <laughs> and that you are. I'm not right. saying that you're not a good communicator because this is actually the art of communication that okay. I, I picked for you, okay, which which works on different health issues too. I should have said that before. So this particular card works on your thyroid, your throat, neck, jaw, voice, shoulders, lungs, arms, and hands. Now, I've not asked you anything about what's gone in your life or anything like that, and I don't need to know that. And as part of the answer is we don't need to know that. But remember, you'll become your own therapist. Yeah. So you may have an underactive thyroid, for example, often I do have clients who have that. Mm-hmm. Or you might find you have a bit of lumpy throat, you're not sure what that's about. That's mm-hmm. what you'd use the, this particular card on to shift that. So okay. there could be the fact you go coming on to your podcast, you've been all rushing all day, and you know, <laughs> I just want to get, get everything out of you, and you're a bit, being a bit fast about things, that would then block you as well, because your thoughts are then you're manifesting that this is going to be a problem, okay? Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to read to you what this card is about. Well, we'll do one more card afterwards just to... Okay to see so let's just read this and see if it resonates with you so the downward turquoise triangle with the red star symbolizes the art of communication it liberates us to communicate our inspired ideas into reality creating expanding our future when balanced we communicate easy and effectively both in verbal and written form we naturally hone our powers of expression that encourage us to channel our inspired ideas into creative achievements This energy has the power of promoting an idea whose time has come. It motivates us to move about both physically and mentally, gathering data and information, learning and studying, communicating viewpoints, sharing advice and opinions, new beginnings move forward. And lots of us are going into new stuff at the moment, but we're not necessarily as much. So what we're going to do is just to rebalance it, just you may be partly there, but I'm not I'm not convinced you're fully there. (laughs) Sorry. No worries. Both, Both hands on heart. Both so, hands. Yeah, because you're we're okay. bringing the left and right brain together and we're bringing both you know the left masculine and feminine energy together. And I want you just to breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and say the word balance again. Balance. Now you're going backwards, okay, which means you're holding yourself back, Sapphire. Okay. So I want you now to visualize yourself really communicating easily in every setting and that will might be in your home life with your partner it might be you know with uh, your your work your work colleagues it might be when you're networking it could be clients wh- whatever it is so in your mind just get a really clear picture of always being able to say what you mean and not worrying what you're saying because you're going to be understood okay and that's the same as written written words as well okay got a clear picture of that yeah. see it really clearly in your mind see it bright yeah. bring it close to you Hear what you're saying to yourself, hear what others are saying, you know, feel excited most that you can say everything you want to say. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth, and say balance. Balance. You're starting to move a little bit, but you're very slight on it. What do you reckon? Can you feel it slightly going forwards? I thought I was going forwards. <laughs> 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 well, you're definitely going backwards on it. Okay. So There's an aspect of you. Let's try one other card and say, let's okay. see what, what happens with it. So let's choose that one. So let's. Oh, sorry, okay. that one. There you go. Mm-hmm. Okay. So again, one hand on heart this time. Mm-hmm. And breathe it, breathe in through the nose. Out through the mouth. So balance. Balance. Which way do you think you're going now? Slightly forward. Going forwards. Mm. Mm. So you're going backwards. I don't think you are going forwards. I I believe you're holding yourself back on it, but you're you believe that you're going forwards, but you're not actually. It's not a big movement. It is a very slight movement with you. It, to be able to to work out what it is um, on there. But let's just read it to you and I'll just rebalance it anyway. Because you know, sometimes we get ones like that. We'll just Should I sit down or stand up still. Uh, you say standing up just for this one and then we'll I'll let you sit down a minute 
okay. and this is for the audience if you felt i was going backward or forward please let us know yeah, let chat. us know let us know because yeah. sort of, it is it is very slight some people really move forward when it's you know going very fast mm -hmm. sometimes it's a very subtle thing but often you know I, I will disagree with the, the client and it's just yeah. that's just my prerogative. Okay. 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 So the orange diamond with the indigo star symbolize the art of co-creation, inspiration, desire, and passion. When balance its energy generates joy and has the passion to encourage freedom and movement on all levels. It nurtures our creativeness and enhances our relationships with ourselves and others. When in balance, we may, may display or exaggerate our discomfort or distress in order to obtain sympathy or admiration, also known as the martyr mentality. This can manifest itself in sensuality issues as well as eating disorders, alcohol abuse, depression, and urinary problems. The orange diamond represents the rhythm of life, bringing freedom of movement, strength, and passion. It portrays the creation of happiness, of feeling at one with our surroundings and getting closer and more intimate with our partner. Use the orange diamond energy when both worldly power and earthly pleasure, love feeling well, and thoroughly enjoy life. It allows the attitude that there is always enough and will always be provided for. It is comfortable with abundance and prosperity. Okay. Sorry, my phones have just started going. I do apologize for that. I came in my dad's, my dad's house. I forgot to unplug them. Okay, so we have got the orange diamond there. Okay, so I just want you just to look at the symbol mm -hmm. again Oops, sorry okay yeah. and this time put both hands over heart mm -hmm. a little bit higher up um so far where your heart is that's it perfect okay because your thymus which is your heart is actually five thousand times more powerful and magnetically than your head but we tend to spend a lot of our lives in our head because we're academics okay so breathe in through the nose out through the mouth and say balance balance yeah you're going forwards on that one. very good it's very slight in your movements but yeah you're definitely going forwards on that one did it resonate with you what i said yes yes new, new beginning new beginnings moving yourself forward always on new beginnings especially for this year that i've been sick for the Absolutely. last time and we had we had a very auspicious day yesterday and, and lots of changes of energy and we're going into something brand new and that's where the balance stage, although it's been around for 14 years um, and it's accredited by NICE to use with children, et cetera, um, is coming into its own because the science is now proving you know, some of the you know, things when we talk about astrology, like you know, the zodiac and the elements and yeah. you know, all sort of Chinese medicine and all sorts of stuff. It's all coming to, to fruition, that actually, the holistic way is, is works <laughs> in yeah. the day. Oh, thanks for the demonstration. And as I said, um, if you... Felt I was going forward, backward. Please let me know. Yeah, let's and, know, uh, let's know. It'd be really good to it's very quick on, the, the on it. On it. And, and there's there's no right or wrong answer on this one. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for the demo. Um, what's what are the benefits of this procedure, and why would a business owners want to learn it to use to, as a balanced procedure? Okay, so the, so the benefits of it are actually the, you're bringing the left and right brain together when you're actually balancing. And you're all that's linking into your um your autogenic nervous system. So you're feeling calmer by doing by doing so because what it does, it brings your parasympathetic and sympathetic nervous system together when we're when they're out of balance, we're in fight or flight. Yes. So some of the um, if I just find the, the chart out in front of me, some of the behavioral changes people have, that if they're more argumentative, for example, or becoming withdrawn or losing creativity or they're working harder and longer achieving less procrastinating desire and to run away from a situation yeah. that's all signs that they need to really go inward and start changing it if an advanced procedure will help well, that's that's showing stress in the body but they may not yeah. recognize what it is they may also be experiencing physical changes so they might feel tired all the time sleep problems aches and pains um indigestion they might hyperventilate yeah, yeah. they might low sex drive i mean a lot of these are actually what we what we label as okay as being the menopause yeah. or antipause for, for men yeah. and actually it's not it's actually trauma that's still trapped within us that needs to to come out but also mental health issues so things like anxiety depression fear of rejection insecurity confusion forgetfulness 
um, phobias, hypochondria, all of those sort of things. Right. So I work a lot with with clients who are experiencing a multitude of different stresses. They might have their parents, you know, or you know, on the other side of the country, and they they ask them to do various things. They're trying to deliver on their business. They're trying to make enough money, and they're pulled from pillar pillar to post. Nice. And it's actually about working with them to actually pull that back so they can plan better in what they're doing. Sometimes it is about setting the business up in a yeah. particular way um, as well. But recognize that your mind is creating everything, that your business life, your personal life is one and the same. So if you are, so for example, um, uh, my husband left me seven, seven years ago. You know, I was working, you know, harder and longer and long, you know, I just wasn't home for certain, certain times because of trauma that was in. So my mum had died, the cat had died, sister in law died. You know, it was like we were in debt. There was, it was just, you know, had so many different issues sort of going on. And that's, that's all internalized, isn't it? So that's why it, again, that, sorry? that's all internalized as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it, a lot of it as well in business, regardless of what, whether it's property or whatever your business is, yeah. often we will try and do things by ourselves. And we're like going, I mustn't tell anybody it's so shameful to, to say that I've got a problem and I've got to just keep a brave face on. And I'm, you know, unfortunately, that was my sort of personality type is to put a brave face on. Where tell anybody, we'll be fine, we'll get through it. You know, sort of thing. And actually, that's not particularly helpful. And actually, to be successful is about collaborating and supporting each other um, as well. But a key thing is is to not compare yourself to another. You don't know what somebody else has at the end of the day. Um, but we judge on different things. Interestingly, to, today I had um, uh, so I've got a support group on online. I just put a comment about you know. Um, actually, I hadn't put a comment about this particularly. I put I I I'd not allowed somebody's post into the the, the group. And the previous movie got really stressed about you know whether it should or shouldn't or whatever. Like, I go, no, it's an advertising post. Why why won't yeah. if that person has some some uh, good to give, you message yeah, me and say, please right. share this, this is why I want to share it, you know, whatever. He wrote a horrible uh, message to me. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> via message. And then she he proceeded to try and put that in as a post into it, although he can't automatically post into yeah. it. And then put it as a comment. I was like, I I, I sent a personal message to him, a voice message to him saying, you don't know me. No, yeah. he, was, he was making all the gestures about me monetizing the group, and I didn't. I was making all this money from it. Of course, I can only you know, advertise my events. And I said, "Listen, I've actually made fifteen pounds since last year." Yeah. In it because that particular group, I haven't. I've just been supporting people in it um, because it was locked down, and people needed that that help. Cool. They will monetize it at some point yeah. um, and stuff. But that's my choice. But yeah. there was a lot of judgment and anger and in comparison to to what he thought I was trying to do, yeah. and that's something saying about him, not about me. And, and that's the thing, people do tend to pass judgment and their own anxieties, their own issues onto yes. someone else. And that's why I kind of really just take a stand, I just smile and, and walk away or just dismiss yeah. it because there's yeah. no point in arguing with someone who's, who wants to display their own issues. Yeah. Okay, um, listeners and viewers, join us after the break with more insights from Liz. Like what you hear so far? Make sure you never miss a show by clicking the subscribe button below. Our podcast is only made possible by great listeners like you. Welcome back. Liz, you have so uh, shown us a lot of um, techniques to deal with the balancing procedure. Really fascinated in the demo that you've done on me as well. Uh, we agree to disagree with whether I was moving for forward or not. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, you know, again, I'd love to hear from my audience what they thought on that. But how do you apply the balance procedure so that you can shift any anxiety, worry, fear, or limiting beliefs, which is stopping someone from succeeding in their business or personal life? Okay, so so first, first things first, you have... You either do the DIY approach or you do a, a professional line with me where you actually have the cards all working together. Because at the moment, I don't know you have all nine in balance. So they, they are interacting with each other, not always. Well. So you have to have the set, the set that are all balanced. Mm -hmm. Within the balance procedure, we are always aiming to, to work towards balance, which are the emotions. Or it's taken from asks it's given um, from Je by Esther Jerry Hicks. They were always working to be to have joy, knowledge, freedom, love, passion, uh, enthusiasm, eagerness, happiness, positive expectation, belief, optimism, and hopefulness. That's us being balanced. Mm -hmm. If we feel any negative 
thing, any negative emotion, in any situation or um, a limiting belief that we notice that we have, we can use a card to, to change that. Literally, all you do is every morning you get your set of cards and you breathe it, put both hands on heart and you breathe in and out of your mouth because you're actually um, it's bringing your head, heart and gut together just mm -hmm. by doing, doing that. The, the cards are incredibly powerful. I spent about £40,000 on my training uh, mm -hmm. doing a whole load of other things. And you can now do it with a set of cards. OK, wow. yeah. and it took me a while to actually get my head around that because I was going, how can I have trained all those things? You can now do it with this and everybody can do it. And that's why I'm saying it's so powerful about becoming your own therapist, because you can start applying it to yourself. Yeah. So, for example, if you've got a belief that um, you're never going to be a, a successful property investor, that is what your limited belief is. Yeah, you've you've tried two houses, it's not worked. Well, I'm never gonna, I'm gonna yeah. you know, well, that's it. That would be a limiting belief. I'm never going to be a pro, you know, a, a good property investor. That energy will be somewhere in the body. Okay. Yeah. So if you ask yourself, where is it alive in me? And, and people will say it's in my heart or it's in my gut, it's in my um jaw, that they know where it is and what, what color is it, just so they identify where it is. And then you literally just imagine, you know, you close, close your eyes, breathe in and out, and you're imagining that energy leaving leaving you, and you'll start to feel better. And you'll, and that is how you get rid of a limiting belief that was within you. Yeah. So the cards, you breathe in out on them first thing in the morning. I used to do them at last thing at night as well. But also, whenever you feel a negative thing or you notice, like, that wasn't a good thing for me to be saying to myself, you get the cards again and, and rebalance it. So... I was with a, a friend uh, a few a few months ago and you know, she was moving. I was moving back into my house and we needed to declutter my house to let me get in. And she had three things on the side that were three cutlery trays. And I was like, why do you need three? We'll have one. I'm moving in and we're only having one. Now mm -hmm. the big one, but I only have one. I said, oh, I said, but what is it? Because two were round and one was oblong. And she mm -hmm. said, oh, I was waiting to try and get another one because actually I want them all to match. And I said, well, you know, then you've just found your limited belief. Everything's got to be uniform. That's right. Okay? So because yeah. if everything's got to be uniform, then everything's got to be uniform around you and what she's trying to achieve. And actually life mm -hmm. isn't like that, you know. No, but, it isn't. It really you know, isn't. So sometimes you don't even know you have that limited belief that is there. You've got to read that's the inner therapist. You've got to notice and go, that's not working for me. Yeah. So it was actually, that was since we got rid of that belief, she's been much more, um, you know, flexible about uh, other other aspects into cluttering or whatever and it's also about using different words reframing your words as well absolutely as much as you're working on 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 the balance procedure you also have to reframe what words yep. you're using because everyone seems to tend to use negative words on themselves that's that's right you know, the, yeah, that's a, a key key part there uh Zafar, actually that about the fact of when we balance you know we, yes we do the morning thing but when we notice ourselves say I must do, or I might do, or I'll try, or I could do. They're mm -hmm. all indications that there is a negative emotion. You know, if somebody does that to me, I'll say, you're not going to do it, though. I've just done that to a friend over on, you know, in a nice way through Messenger. You know, she said, oh, I must book your money mindset workshop. And I, I said, must? No, you said that last time. Here's the link. Do it now. Yeah. <laughs> And that's, uh, you have to kind of get into the habit of being forceful with yourself and yeah. and stop procrastination. That's what you used the word earlier. Yeah. Procrastination yeah. is very key in, in many people's behaviours as well. Yeah. And it's so trying to eliminate It's purely trapped trauma. You yeah. don't need to understand what it is. That, that trauma could be the fact that your toy was taken away from you when you were three, you know, which really doesn't matter anymore, but your mind might still be you know going back, that person's mean to me and you get triggered. But yeah, in more yeah. serious things, obviously, you know, if we've had a car accident or whatever, I mean, uh, um, my mum died about t 10 years ago and we you know, we just had a um, memorial thing at a, at a grave the, the other day where my dad was insistent he wanted to put something on it. But actually where the churchyard was was exactly, you know, he could see where the accident was, which he kind yeah. of created. You know, yeah. and that's not it wasn't good for him to do that because <laughs> right. he had a wave in the next day he wasn't feeling well. And was, you know, yeah. I was, I'm not worried. He's just emotionally overloaded. And but, you regress back into that anxiety. You regress back into how you was feeling at that time. 
yeah. and it, you know it's that's what you don't want to put yourself in that situation yeah. and it's always about remembering the positive side of yourself the positive words and using all of those to really push yourself yeah. in the, as you we're, said, triggered, the we're triggered via our senses so it's about noticing yeah. i'm being triggered by our smell our touch um sight what you know all hearing all, all different sort of aspects yeah. that is that is triggering us in some way if you're driving along and your wedding song comes on but you got divorced five years ago and you haven't let that go you know that's where the bounce is really helpful is it's bring you into the here and now and like going no you don't need and the more that you do it the more that actually you don't reference to anything from the past you're then in what i call creation mode that you're creating things how you want to and going oh i want to create more clients today so i'll work on you know the wealth card for example or or, or whatever um, but you need to cl clear your junk first to get into that zone. Well, that leads <laughs> into the, the next question. How can the um, balance procedure help you with all aspects of your health um, so that you can stay healthy and wealthy while owning your business without creating that stress level as well? Yeah, so, so basically your health is your spiritual health, emotional, physical and mental health. It's four aspects. So... Now, in my book, Are You Worth It?, I talk about write down your life history. Mm. Now, somebody who's heavily traumatised won't be able to do that. They'll, you know, and you, That's where the bad procedure comes in. They don't have to actually look at it. But when you start writing down your history, that is actually just your spiritual path. That's just been what, that's what you've been yeah. through. And you shouldn't be triggered by it. Because if you're properly in the moment, it's about what's, what's coming. It's not about what's, what's been <laughs> on it. But it's about understanding that, that sort of aspect of it. So our thoughts create our emotions. Our emotions are actually, if the, the negative emotions are toxic, that actually creates illness. We're either at ease with ourselves or at dis-ease disease. Mm -hmm. So Louise Hay wrote her book in um, 1987. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, you can heal your, heal your life. You no, know, she was a multi-million pound worldwide healer. Sadly died now. <coughs> But wasn't wasn't really you know people would read the book and go yeah whatever you know it was was that really true? Well, all the work I've been doing for years is I, I've just been basing it on Louise's work, but also what I learned through neuro linguistic programming, the bounce procedure, and, and different mm -hmm. things. Like years and you know we've had um, uh, a book came out last year, Dr. David Hamilton, um, Why We We Works, and that's fantastic because it brings all the science together of around. Now, linking it to Reiki and meditation and crystals and the law of attraction and why we should be believing it. You know, that it's not a pseudoscience. It is actually real looking at different aspects of ourselves, looking at how we're emotionally feeling, how we're men acting mentally, what our behaviours are. And that's all part and parcel of our spiritual health or the lessons yeah. we need to learn, but also about understanding our emotions. Emotions are toxic. Often people are in situations where they're creating such toxicity that then becomes depression. But actually the depression is just repressed emotions. What yeah. I didn't share before was actually behind the balance procedure, we have this list of um, emotions and you, you, the more that you shift those negative emotions out of you, you will just stay at a much po more positive level and good things happen at that level. They just happen naturally because you relax, the right things, opportunities come along, etc. Um, you know, I was for many years. Um, wow. So how can you train as a balance, um, train as a, a, a therapist then? And um, so first, the first thing is you don't have to become a therapist as yeah. part of it. Mm -hmm. If you want to, you can do, but you don't have to. So the first stage of it is actually that you invest potentially in the, the book and the cards. If you just want to have a go, then that's the DIY approach. Yeah. But... To be honest, I find that some people just go, they've got it, they have it, do it for a little bit, and they forget about it because they've not really invested yeah. in how it, how it works and what can happen. What they can um, do, though, is they can I, – I work with people where they actually have the professional alignment with me where we do all nine cards. We go through how the how the different elements all work with, within you, look at a bit more what's going on in your life, etc. And then you you come on training, which is the called the Balance Procedure Workshop, which is two lots of two hours over two weeks, where you get the cards and the book as part of that. Mm -hmm. And as part of that, you are then learning how to apply it, how it links into your mental health, how it links into your physical health, how to apply it. You can you know, work with other, other people doing it, et cetera. Then if you want to become a practitioner, you can. And again, it's four, four hours, but there is 
four case studies you do to ass to assessments and you can also learn to, to deliver the balance procedure workshop yeah again you don't have to be a therapist something like yourself for example if you wanted to work with your clients you think this would be a really great tool you could go up to practitioner level and be training them and, and work with your clients when you, as you notice it one of the things i found really frustrating was people wouldn't necessarily invest the money ne they needed to with me when i spotted things and yeah. i can't do it for free i've got to be able to, i don't get funded by anybody <laughs> <laughs> at the end of the day so it's the balance procedure is greater that it's much lower cost than a lot of therapy that's mm -hmm. out there but you're becoming much more sort of ownership of it but I have clients who, who've gone on to be practitioner who are, some of them are ther therapists, mm -hmm. um, but, but not all of them. Some of them are um, image image consultants, um, we've got weight, weight loss consultants, we've got um, uh, photographers, it, nice. business coaches, but where they're spotting something because it's it, what's lovely about it is it's tangible. So yes. your client, because when we're working holistically, there's no way I know that I'm going to get a deliberate, definite, you know, when you go to see, um, I don't know, a financial planner, you go, I want a will, you go away with a will and you know you've got that service. That's right. When you're working with a therapist, it's a bit here miss, you've got to work out. There might be 10 different elements we have to uncover to get to the the, the problem That's to properly right. treat for somebody. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so this way the, the client gets something, they feel they've got something for the session and they're going and they're actively part of it. And if you do do practitioner, you may well have your own programs around it mm -hmm. to keep that person on task. Yeah, so I've got um, uh, the Relax Retreat. I've got the you know, Team Business Art at Wisdom Session. So I'm supporting people in different in different guises yeah. going, going through things. I'm also uh, designing a course called Balancing with Belief. Oh, so nice. it's actually you know, understanding what their beliefs are because we all have a belief system and it's either right or it's wrong you know it's you know yeah mm -hmm. understanding what's what yeah and and sometimes until somebody points something out to you, you don't know it's wrong what you're operating mm -hmm. to and you know so it's about sort of unpicking that with people to say they know this is what's available to you they go wow i can change everything yeah because the procedure actually gives you is about all about fulfilling your potential and it, yeah, it I really, really like that. i think that's really good and and it real and it does highlight everything you've shared today it does highlight that you have to look at yourself it is it starts yeah. with self everything in life actually does everything's about start. awareness yeah become, become yes. aware that there's situation of course i still have situations that come up i've just been living with my father for a lot of 18 months yeah. it was tough there were, there's been <laughs> conversations that have been not pleasant yeah, you know, yeah. My, I've, I've got you know family members who've had mental health con conditions, whatever, I can see how he's caused issues. I can see how he's causing it in me. Mm -hmm. And I've had to learn to use communication card to go in and have a conversation and you know, change situations using the cards as, as well. So, because I'm still evolving you know, through it. And, and, and that's the, the, the crux of it. You can't assume that you're going to just do this once and that's mm -hmm. it. It's a it's continuation a, of a continuation. It's like me doing meditation every day. I still meditate yeah. every day. I still have my glass of you know, hot water with lemon every every day. I still exercise every day. You know, the balance procedure is just one of those things that I, that I have. And if I have my set of cards and I have, I, I see my clients all the time because I'll be at network meetings or online. If I spot something, I've got your cards, get your cards out, but you've just, you've got something. So for me, it's much quicker, you know, supporting the people around me um, as well than, than any other technique I've used up until now. This has been such a fantastic show. So, Liz, how can our listeners contact you and learn more about the services that you offer? Yeah, so they can um, contact me via my website, so um, insightfulminds.co.uk. Um, that's just one F and one L, isn't it? Uh, insightful. Um, and also Liz at insightfulminds.co.uk. You can email me and ask me different things. The best thing to do is if you want your own taster, I do the tasters for um, free at the moment anyway. So if somebody wants to come and have a have a go, and we'll, we can agree to disagree, but whether you go backwards or forwards, we'll see. <laughs> Everybody's different. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, and we'll also be sharing the link as well. Yeah, I will signpost people to what's the right resource for them for their budget. Because Absolutely. having had debt myself, there's there's no part of me that wants any of my um, students or clients to go into debt. So it's about if they need to start off at reading Are You Worth It mm -hmm. and understanding how the mind's working first, DIYing with the cars and leading into the next thing, that's cool by me. 
um, because we're all on a journey at, at different points. We definitely are. And, you know, as I said, we will be sharing all Liz's links um, in our feed as well so that you can really reach out to her. And if you've really enjoyed the show, don't forget to subscribe as well. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for tuning in and making sure sure that you check out Liz's um, website. Um, she's on Facebook. She's on LinkedIn. She's on Twitter. Check her out. She has some fantastic programs that you can get involved with. She's not trying to break the bank with you. So reach out and she will do a, a free strategy stressing with you and find out what works for you. Thank you for being here in the show. It has been an absolute pleasure to have you. And um, thank you to our listeners for um, watching and listening. If you enjoyed the episode, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, rate, review, download and share. Loved having you here, Liz. Thank you again. Thank you. And thank you so much, viewers and listeners, um, for watching our show. We present this every week on a Friday at 9 a.m. So go over and subscribe in order that you will not miss out on another one. And you will get to see me every week. Speak to you soon. This week's episode of the Savvy Property Investors Podcast was brought to you by our sponsor, the Savvy Women Group. Thank you for tuning in. If you enjoyed today's show, head over to our website, www.savvywomen.co.uk to gain access to our free resources and more insights about our guest speaker today. Remember, we make your business our business so you can unlock your full potential and improve your quality of life.